In this video, we will look at the principles of safe driving while driving a two and four wheeler. Safe riding posture while riding a two wheeler improves balance, core strength and stability. Improves mental health. Makes you feel smart. Reduces chance of accident. So, let us look at the ideal posture while riding a two wheeler. First, shoulder should be kept natural and relax. Second, arm should be slightly bent and relax at about 120 degree bend. Third, overall body posture should be slightly leaning forward. Fourth, you should sit in a position from where you can easily operate the handlebar and brakes. Fifth, place arch of shoes on the footrest, toes facing forward, the toes resting lightly on brake and gear. Sixth, Always look forward to cover a wide range of information. Keep according to speed of vehicle. Seventh, grasping the center of the grip from where you can easily operate levers and switches. Eighth, knees should be slightly squeezing the fuel tank between your thighs for better stability. On a scooter, the knees should be straight and facing forward. Now after establishing the right posture, let us understand the six safe driving principles that needs to be followed while riding a two-wheeler. Number one, aim high. You shall ensure long view so that you can see the long stretch of the road. Body posture should be held up high so that you can have a clear view of the road. This will help you to maintain the speed, improve time to react in case of any distraction or problem due to road condition, behavior of other drivers, pedestrian, traffic signals or guidance. Number two, the big picture. In continuation of aim high, you should look into the overall scenario of surroundings which might influence your attention. Distracted riders are equal if not worse than the intoxicated ones when it comes to defense driving. Your big picture is to identify the angry and erratic drivers or riders, distracted riders and always being aware of your surroundings. The whole picture principle entails keeping your vehicle safe from the surroundings, from the surrounding potential dangers, including other people's vehicle. Number three, keep your eyes moving. Again, this will help you to maintain your attention during driving to avoid any incident. Keep your eyes on the road consistently and in alert mode. Another reliable way to keep your eyes alert is to move them consistently. Number four, Leave yourself and out. Defensive riding requires you to at least leave one way out for yourself. Ensure you're not boxed by other drivers while they're selecting their lanes. Don't follow other road users closely and make sure you anticipate what the other drivers or riders around you are making their choices. By riding a safe distance from road hazards, you increase your safety. Please refer the graphical representation of case. Consider you are riding the bike. When you ride correctly, the motorist in the driveway, A, sees you. The motorist overtaking you, B, will not take the easy way out and skim your elbow and the car door, C, is no threat. Thus, always keep yourself visible and out from any circumstances. Number 5. Ensure they see you. While driving, don't assume that other drivers will drive safely, arrive safely. They can see you or they are not dangerous. Defensive driving involves making sure that other riders or drivers in your surrounding see you. Let the other drivers or riders anticipate your moves and learn you are nearby. If they fail to see you, then you can use a horn. To ensure you are visible, use bright color helmet, bright clothing, reflective vest and avoid to be in black spot. Refer the example shown in picture. Especially while driving in night, wear reflective jacket. You may also keep the blinker on. Number 6. Brake properly. A two-wheeler has two brakes, in which the front is operated by the right hand and the rear by the right foot or left hand. Needless to say, both are needed to stop effectively. However, in emergency or even otherwise, you should apply both the brakes simultaneously, not one at a time. If you apply the front brake first, it will assist you in slowing down and immediately the rear one can be applied. There is no set rule for applying brakes. 
It will help you if you squeeze the front brake first and then press down the rear brake with increasing pressure. Brake gently and with caution when you need to take a turn while braking. Picture is showing actual distance cover in case you apply brake. Higher the speed increases the distance. Hence, as a rider, you need to apply the brake accordingly to avoid any incident. Apart from these six principles, the practice of MSM, that is Mirror Signal Maneuver, is another important technique for changing lane, stopping or doing maneuver. Mirrors Use your mirrors to check the speed and position of traffic around and behind you. Signal If necessary, use signal to warn other road users what you intend doing. Give the correct signal. Use hand technique shown in picture. Also use the blinker. Thus, always make sure bike indicators are working before start of any travel. Maneuver A change in speed or position, slowing down, stopping or turning. To avoid accidents when changing lanes, negotiating a turn, keep side mirrors at the right angle to reduce blind areas. Some tips on mirror adjustment include Keep side mirrors at the right angle to reduce blind areas. Keep bike position and handle steep. Seat in comfortable position and keep head straight. Only move eyeball to check. At that position, both shoulders should be visible in 1x3 in mirror. Following are some benefits of keeping mirrors at the right angle. You will not need to look over your shoulders. You will only need to give the mirror or mirrors a quick look to spot the blind area or areas. Looking at the mirror or mirrors only keeps you focused on what is in front of you. You will have a better view, including blind areas. At night, other vehicles' headlights will not reflect on the mirrors. Maneuver is divided into three more phases. Position Position your car properly on the road. The position you take will be specific to the maneuver you wish to perform. If you plan to turn left, maintain your normal road position about 1 meter from the left hand side of the road. If you plan to turn right, position your car as close to the center line as is safe. Speed Adjust your speed so that it is appropriate for the maneuver and select a suitable gear. Always brake to the speed that you want before changing into the appropriate gear for that speed. Look, check your mirrors and look where you intend to go. Then, assess, decide, act. Let us also understand some technique of maneuver during four-wheeler driving. Number one, dividing lanes, white or yellow line or two parallel line. A dividing lane is a road marking formed by a white or yellow line or two parallel white or yellow lines, broken or continuous, designed to separate the parts of a road, to be used by vehicles traveling in opposite directions. You must keep to the left of these lines. You may cross them to overtake or make a turn, but you must only do so if it is safe. Refer the picture. Number 1. Dividing lines, single line, single continuous line or single continuous line to the left of a broken line. You must keep to the left of these lines. You must not cross these lines to overtake or to make a U-turn, but may cross them to enter or leave the road or to go past an obstruction. Maneuver Parallel lines You must keep to the left and must not cross these lines unless you have to avoid an obstruction. You are permitted to cross single or double continuous lines in order to avoid an obstruction. This does not include a slower moving vehicle or a vehicle stopped in a line of traffic, but may include a fallen tree, a crashed vehicle or a car that has broken down or is illegally parked. Before crossing the line, you must have a clear view of the road ahead and it must be safe. You must also be very sure that you cross safely because the onus is on you to take the risk of danger into account. Maneuver Broken Lane Line When lanes are marked by broken lines, the driver may change lanes when it is safe to do so by indicating the intention through proper signal. Maneuver Straddling When driving on a road marked with lane lines, you must keep your vehicle entirely within a lane. It is an offense to straddle a line. The green car in the illustration is straddling the lane line. Now we will look at another safe driving principle for four-wheeler, the two-second rule for safe distance. 
Two second rule is about maintaining sufficient distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you to safely stop in two seconds in case you have to brake suddenly. This is valid at any speed and any terrain. Refer the first picture. One four-wheeler driver observes a dog in his way. After that, he tries to apply the brake and see how much distance vehicle covers before stopping. Stopping or safe distance is actually combination of reaction distance and braking distance. Reaction distance is the distance a vehicle travels in the time it takes for the driver to apply the brakes after realizing they need to stop. The two second rule, as the name suggests, allows at least two seconds between you and the vehicle in front. The average driver takes approximately three fourth of a second to recognize a threat and three fourth of a second to apply the brakes. That is why most drivers are recommended to give two seconds of empty space between them and other motorists. The two second safety buffer should provide the rider enough time to slow down or stop in many situations. Let's see more examples of two seconds rule. As can be seen in the diagram, the motorcycle rider following the red car has a two second gap. The motorcycle rider simply chooses a fixed reference point, in this example, a road sign. And just as soon as the vehicle in front passes it, counts two seconds. If you reach the reference point in under two seconds, you are riding too close to the vehicle in front. Ease off the throttle and extend your distance. Two seconds can still be applied at varied speeds. As the distance traveled is increased, the faster you go. Therefore, the faster you are moving, the greater the distance you have to stop in. It must be understood, however, that the two second rule is minimum following distance based on dry, ideal conditions related to braking capacity, tire condition, physical or mental condition of driver, road condition. Again, we can conclude, two second rule is about maintaining sufficient distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you to safely stop in two seconds in case you have to brake suddenly. In this video, we understood the principles of safe driving while driving a two and four wheeler. Thank you.